If something fell off the operating table, why can't you pick it up? When you're doing surgery on a patient, you want to make sure everything is sterile. Being sterile means that there's no bacteria, no viruses, and no fungus that can get near the patient and potentially cause an infection. Can you spot in this picture what is sterile and what's not sterile? Go ahead and outline it with your finger and I'll show you here in a second. Okay, are you ready? And there it is. In green is what is considered sterile, and everything else that is in red is considered not sterile. Look how narrow that height is. It should be below the surgeon's shoulders, but also above his waist. So if you drop a tool from the green into the red, you can't bring it back into the green. If it's gone into the red, it has to stay there. It's the same thing with your hands. You can't bring your hands above the green or below the green area and into the red. Otherwise, your gloves might actually become contaminated. So what would happen if a pair of scissors fell out of the green area, but was picked back up and put on the table in the back? Everything would have to be replaced. If something becomes contaminated, you need to get rid of it immediately so it does not contaminate the rest of the surgical field. You have to move that table away and replace everything on it. This is why you have to be very careful if you're new to the operating room. Follow me if you want more information like this.